All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the city of Salema Oasis. So, I've taken some time and and thought about the city, and I think I have something resembling a plan. Ish. So first things first, I think it's important that we kind of keep in mind that this city basically has four major uh, considerations in g going into its construction, right? The first, and I think probably most important, is that fundamentally this is meant to be a military venture, right? Our, our mission that we have chosen to accept a new pharaoh, Nebka, has been proclaimed. Establish a military post at Salima Oasis. Neb Which, I think, because of that, I think it's perfectly reasonable to assume that we're going to be attacked probably with some regularity. And I think that that means that we're going to want to get at least a couple of forts up quite quickly. Now, as far as direction is concerned, where we're likely to get attacked from, I think it's most likely it's going to be from the south or west. Is potentially northwest as well, but but northeast is this is this is all Egypt up here. I don't think we're going to be attacked from this direction. I wouldn't expect it at least. I don't think east and potentially not southeast either, but possibly. I'm pretty sure we're friendly with these people, but I'm pretty sure most of this is hostile territory. Right? Which means that anything we want to uh, protect, like for example this, I think we want up in the northeast corner or, or east side of the map more so than anywhere else because I think this is the direction that we're least likely to be hit from. Potentially they'll be down here, probably they'll be down around here, and maybe over here, but I'm hoping that they're not going to be in this direction. So I think that's where we're going to put this kind of stuff. The second thing to take into consideration for this particular mission is wood. That is going to be our primary export. Ah, potentially only export for at least a little while. Um, I think there is maybe some potential for buying jewelry from... Is, is that going to be possible by jewelry? Uh, no? Okay, maybe not. I was hoping we could buy jewelry up in Egypt and then sell it down south. But it looks like most everyone except a bed Jew buys jewelry rather than oh, I guess Timna doesn't well the only places where there's jewelry they're buying it not selling it so um okay I guess that's that's out we could potentially do linen sell linen down there I don't know if that is something that you can do, like buy 
somewhere and then sell it somewhere else. I don't know if that works. Mm, no, I don't think that does work. Now that I think about it, it didn't... When we got trade unlocked, didn't it say something about you can't can't export and import at the same time? I don't know. Either way, the point is... Wood is going to be our primary method, I think, of bringing in any kind of income. So I think this is something that we want to get started relatively quickly, if not immediately. We are going to have to be careful, though, because I really don't want to overdo it. There is... Not actually that much wood here, all things considered. And I don't know how quickly we're going to go through it, so we've got to be careful. The third major thing to consider is related to that, and it is the fact that we are going to have to import several things in order to be functional. Uh, in particular, we're going to have to import clay and or pottery. We're going to have to import barley and or beer. Uh, going to have to import reeds and or papyrus. And we're definitely going to need to import another type of food. We're going to make use of the dentists because the, the, the upgrade to the housing that uses dentists requires a second uh, type of food. And uh, uh, to be honest, we've got some here, some there. That's not a lot of food, actually. So we might just need to import it generally in order to be able to sustain the population, which is going to need to be 3,000 people. A new pharaoh. So, um, yeah, th that's going to be a lot of stuff to import. And if we're only exporting wood, that's going to be a, a concern, which I think means that we're also going to want to... Yeah, I think linen. Who sells... No. Oh, don't tell me nobody sells flax. Dang. Nobody sells flax. Are you serious? Now let me check here. Just to double check. Where is it? There's linen. Oh, flax isn't even on here, is it? Am I missing it? Nope. Okay, so we can't do that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what other options there are. I mean, maybe we could do import barley, export beer, and import... Hmm. Yeah, we might be able to do that. We could potentially also do papyrus import reeds and export papyrus. That's actually probably the better thing to do because papyrus is made... We did this last time, right? And we weren't... I guess we weren't actually using the papyrus, but, but papyrus doesn't get used in the scribal schools very quickly. So that's potentially a, a another potential moneymaker. Hmm... Okay, the fourth thing to take into consideration, I think, is this. It is, it is a big, expensive building, really expensive building, but I think, I, I don't know what the consequences are going to be for not having this, but I frankly don't want to find out, particularly because this is to Seth. And he's the one who strikes down enemies, and if we run into, you know, problems out here, 
I, I think having him appeased is going to be pretty high up on the priority list for this city. So I, I do think that we're going to want to get this temple complex up and running reasonably quickly. So. I suppose there is one other consideration, and that is that the housing is going to be uh, potentially quite upgraded. We've got we've got the dentist, we've got the courthouse, scribal school. Once we get everything, you know, a, a stable import export business going and have stable income, I think we're going to have quite good housing. Which I think that means that certainly long term and potentially even medium term, that means we're not going to need quite as many houses as we did at Bedette. So potentially we can have smaller housing districts. Not sure. But, here's the plan, here's the plan for the city. That, it, as far as, like, what I've come up with, just kind of thinking it through, not putting anything down. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work, but the general idea is, I think this, I want up here-ish, somewhere. Again, it's, I think the least likely to be attacked location at least I hope so and then I think we do temples festival square you know here ish um oh something I wanted to check is this is this even with or on no it's even one two three four Ah, uh, but, okay, well, that's going to be whatever, I guess. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's going to be the plan for that. And then, from, from the festival square, which should be here-ish, uh, maybe a little bit closer. I don't want to remove any of the, any of the forest as much as possible. Because every, as far as I can tell, like every bit of this that we remove is potential money that we can, we can be getting from exporting wood. So, yeah, I'd rather not do that as much as possible. But from the festival square, I think we pull it around and kind of hug, you know, like, around the oasis ish a a main central road and then we do something that we did back at uh, i think it was menifer where we have the 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 road the like main road and then coming off of it be housing and, and industrial type stuff. We need the housing to be close enough to this. The industry can be wherever we want it to be, with the exception of the woodcutter. And I don't particularly see why we can't just have that over here. So basically, this is, I'm just waft, wafting this around, and this is not very instructive, I realize, but, um, hmm.
All right. So. I have just gone through a whole mess of planning that was... Uh, I just honestly took a long time. And uh, was a lot of just... Well, basically, I was I was slapping things down, measuring, remeasuring, hating all of it, deleting it, building it again, and I've just reloaded this save because obviously doing all that sp spent a bunch of money, but I think I have an idea. Of how to make this work. The problem is that this is expensive and I don't want to put it down yet. Uh, it's expensive uh, during the course of me doing all this planning and testing and stuff it fell down so obviously it's gonna need access to um, architects probably pretty regularly but the bright side is, I think I have a way to make this area look kinda nice. I hope. Problem, like I said, is that this thing is expensive. I don't want to put it down yet, but it's gonna be a central, like, fixture that I'm kinda, kinda gonna need to use to measure. So this is going to be a little bit fiddly, but I think we can manage it. So, right there. And then right there. That, I believe, is going to be the festival square. We're going to we're going to remove that bit and probably that bit so that we can put some more beautification around it to make it look nicer. And then, there's going to be temples. There's not just going to be one, there's going to be two. There's going to be temple, and then temple, and then the temple complex. I think, is how I want to do this. The pavilions are going to come off from the doohickey. One, two... Right there, one, two, right there. Now, how did I do this? Uh, let me see here. Need a bit of road. And then I think there. Because I believe I want this here, right? Now, that's going to go that way. One, two, two, and then three and four, and then it's going to be there. I think. There. doesn't look right on this side. Why doesn't that look right? I have a screenshot that I took. This is showing. Uh, I'll put it up now. That's kind of giving an idea of what I want to do here, but... I... Okay, that's, that's, that's that, and then that, and then it goes that away. So I believe what we want to do is one and then one here this is um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah and that should allow for space the other side of the festival square well the this side of the festival square there should be space for 
gardens and statues and the temples so let's say let's see this this is as far out as the is the square is gonna go and then that's gonna be gardens there or beautification and then it's gonna be the temples there one two three one two three so we're gonna put this here boom boom is that correct I think that's correct. The, uh, the screenshot is kind of have, have has the temples kind of in the way a little bit, but let me see here. Should have probably done this a little bit more intelligently. That looks correct right there. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to. Uh, how big is this? One, two, three. Three away from the center. Okay. Okay. We can do this, we can do this. <laughs> just just so everyone's aware, I'm absolutely do going way, way, way overboard with this. This is silly. There's no reason for all of this nonsense. One, two, three. I'm just being very, very picky. And and fiddly with all of this. But I want the city to look nice. I don't want to just have a mess splattered all over the place. I want it to look at least as nice as I can get it to. And to do that, it requires planning. So, temple. Temple. A little bit of space for beautification. Then the, the, the doodah. Uh, uh-huh, yeah. And the, the pavilions like this. Ish. Oh, that's gonna be good because that'll be symmetrical. Okay. I think I messed it up over here. Because the water supply needs to be there. I suppose we can clear out a little bit of space, but it's Okay, so here's here's the idea. Here's the general gist of the plan here. Right? You look at the screenshot. Got the road going up to, let's see, it's supposed to be, this is going to be hard to show, but, um, you see where the two pillars are in the, in the center at the, at the entrance way there, and then, oh, even better, you see the gardens, the four gardens in the corners, here and here, right? The road is going to go up to just past gardens so it should be one two three four and then five one two three four and then five that should that should do it that should do it i think that'll do it let me see it is it yes the screenshot is after the thing fell down already so i'm not a hundred percent certain but i'm i i <laughs> It's, it's, ew, we're going to find out here in a second if this is correct. One, two, and then one, and then one, two, and then one. One, two, one, one, two, one. Something like that. Housing. Gardens down the center. Housing. Okay. Can you, can you kind of see where I'm going with this? So. This is going to then go down. On either side. Ish. Now. Take a look at what's going on here. We've got. Central road with the, uh, with the doodah. And the stuff. And things. This thing requires 50 workers, right? Which means it needs access to housing, which means that we can't just have it out in the boonies somewhere. So, 
here's the plan. This is going to be here. We're not going to put it down yet. We're, we're going to need to set stuff up first. But the idea is, got the housing here, down these sides, right? Water supply here and here. And the road is going to come around like this, kind of, and come up here and then... I'm not. Ex I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna measure this before I just start slapping this road down. But it's gonna kind of snake back and forth, rather than having any, like. I was talking about spokes coming off of a central circle. That is gonna be a mess. I think. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna look very good. But what if? We instead do a, a, like, serpentine snaking road that winds back and forth all across itself, right? So it comes here, and then it comes here. I mean, it's kind of gonna have to go like this, then down, and then out and around, something like that, right? In particular for these, this is going to be the line. Continuous line from here to here, and then going this way. We're going to have the housing here, and then on the other side here, we're going to have, like, here, we're going to have things like these, and, and, and this, which is nice to live next to. And then further down this way, and then along the road down this way, we're going to have all of the other stuff, all of the stuff you don't want to live next to, right? Does that make sense? I, I, I hope that makes sense. I think this road is going a little bit too far because I want it to be symmetrical as much as possible, at least for this starting business. Something else we might do is connect a road here and here and then roadblock either end just to make things be able to move across the city more easily so that it's kind of sort of got a central circle if we do that along all of these like if we have the road the main road going you know continuously like this zigzagging back and forth we can have connecting areas along here that are road blocked so that we've still got a continuous line a long continuous line but things are still able to connect with one another more easily that is generally my idea for this I'm not sure if this is gonna work but that's what I'm going with and I think Jeff. Honestly, I think I've thought about this and fiddled with this too long already, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started now. Uh, yes. No. This. I'm gonna start with this. And. I guess. I guess. I guess. I didn't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. But it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna do. We're gonna do water carrier. Here. Here. Now. Houses. I think this. Because I think I measured this out. It should be. Yeah. That looks right. I don't want to slap everything down all at once. So I'm gonna go. House house gardens house gardens house just to start with this road over here by the way is probably going to get removed as we as we go along but i'm not gonna bother with it just yet because it's not in the way and i do not care I'm gonna gonna pull a bit of road off like this on either side I think 
We're going to want the hunting lodges first. And down here is going to be a good spot for those. Let me just kind of measure things out a little bit. I think... Hang on a second. There's enough room here, but, but right now. But there won't be, because there's going to be a booth or a pavilion here. So where is that going to... Hmm... Just checking the screenshot. Uh, okay. Well. I think we might want municipal stuff here. Because right there, or not just the, the these these three in particular, here. Because there we can have shrines, and then there will be the pavilion. So I think let's use that right there. No. Because if that's going to be a house there, that's going to be a house there. Which means going to want gardens there. Which means here. You know what? Let's just start at th this end of the road and work upward. Here. Architects. Hopefully that'll be enough architects for for the, uh, the 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 what's it temple complex. Okay, something here has been messed up. How is this? Oh, this is one two. This is not one two. trying so hard to make this symmetrical and it's just biting me and I, I I shouldn't be doing this this is silly but I'm gonna anyway let's just let's just use that and then what is, you know what oh, no, I'm gonna do it this way that and that and that and that'll be that'll be that'll be that and we'll go I don't want to go too far okay um we're gonna put down more houses we're gonna need them okay I am absolutely stressing about this and there's <laughs> There's no need for that whatsoever, but hey, um, I, you know what? The bazaar should probably actually go there. I think kind of incorporating it into the housing area is smart. Yes, I'm aware. Shut up. Uh, hang on a second. Booth or I keep calling it a booth. Pavilion. That doesn't. Allow room for a doohickey there. I'd, I'd kind of like... Are we going to be able to... Is, is this... Hang on a second. If that's one, two. We might be able to make that work, actually. Yes. That'll, that makes it, that makes it symmetrical. It's all symmetrical. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Now. Um. Let's go with, oop, click, please. There we go. Some of these. Uh, the, 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 this corner, this elbow here is where we're going to start putting the, the industry. So. I'm going to put. Uh, some of those. I don't know how many. I don't want... We could just put this here and then use that as a measuring stick. I kind of don't want to do that, though, because these are not very nice to live next to. 
for whatever reason. I don't know why it would be such a bad thing to live next to a granary, but whatever. Yeah, I think we are going to put these here. And you know what? I'm going to just put down all of the housing that is going to be here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wait, what did that say? Low, low, low what now? Food levels are low. Um, okay. Um, I'm not sure what that was. Let's do, let's do a row of four. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's how many one of these can sustain. One of these, um, blocks. Do have another one down here, which would probably I was gonna say we're gonna probably rush stuff down here just kinda slapdash put stuff down here to take advantage of that, but we might not need to. We'll we'll play it by ear. I think. I think. That I want this to the other side of because if the road is going to be here... How big is this? This is three. This is the largest thing that we're going to need over here. Isn't it? Temples are the same size, right? Yeah. And, and there's going to be temples over there anyway, so it's not going to matter. Um... Ooh, that's a good point. We're probably going to want to remove this road to start with. Until the temples get people in them. I don't know, it might not be necessary. We'll see. Um... Okay. Do we... Because if we go this way... You know what? I have an idea. Let's put the granary here. And then loop the road around it. Or maybe here. That seems nicer. And then we're gonna just pull it around. I don't know, that seems like... It's a bit of a waste of, of potential space, because we could... Can we? Can we do this? If we put another granary here... Oops. Will that let me pull the road around it? I'm not sure if that road connected. I guess we'll just have to find out. Hmm. Okay, well. That should... be good, I hope. I just had a thought. We might want to actually put the road there and then roadblock these two spots. Move this around over to here. Because price cut. Uh, oh, Royal Scribe Alda the Eighth. Because of an overabundance across the kingdom, the price of pouches of luxury goods has fallen. This will reduce the profits to be made by exporting it. That's uh, uh, fine, I guess. I don't, we're not exporting anything. Although we probably should be here, here, here soon gonna do that. That might be too many road oh, it's fine. Oh no, it's not fine, is it? No, it's not fine. Because we're gonna we're gonna need because cause this is gonna need to, to to yeah. It's gonna need to do that.
And then roadblock and then uh, the police station. Yeah. That should be fine, I think. I hope, I hope, I hope. People are immigrating to the city. That's wonderful. We've got food. She's going to collect food. I don't remember what comes after food in the requirements business. Is it religious services? It might be. I think... Let's see. One, two, three. And then there. I think Seth, front and center, and then or closest to the, the thingy, and then... Who is the other one? Raw? Yeah, Raw here. Further away. I think is how we'll do that. So... Is that where it is? Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Uh... Yeah, that's correct. I'm gonna do that. And and probably remove the road. Yep. Yep. Do do the, 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 the here. I'm the most popular person in the city. A lot of people need jobs. Okay. I just had another thought. Do you have anything? No, you don't. Um, we're gonna need to move this. Because... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm... Maybe about to make a mistake here. Or was going to. Because if we just have it go around, that's a long way. Unnecessarily long way. I think we do keep this loop, but I think we need to connect a road to over here that is roadblocked to make things, make moving things around easier. Are you employed? This one here. No. Hang on a second. I, I might have jumped the gun a little bit in, in deleting both of those, but, but, I mean, there's, there's this. I forgot that you can do that, but, like, tempted to pull the road down like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna undo that and I am going to pull the road down like this and we're going to put granary back here they are they're going around that road which is actually maybe not ideal maybe we just get rid of this loop I don't think that it's accomplishing all that much. Maybe we go... Maybe we go out like this. And leave that there, and have basically two roads going down this way. Where they can... Yeah, that actually sounds better. Do we... Kinda plan it out immediately where the road will go. I think going along here is fine. Something like that. And the granary is the largest thing, so as long as there's room for a granary on one side, 
and then something else on the other. Wait, granary is how big? It's four, right? Yeah, it's a four by four. And then one, two, and then road there. I'm not going to connect those immediately, but... Oh. I think we put the roadblock there. At least for now. No. It's, it's, it's an intersection there, but is it gonna be a... is it... I, I don't know. At least for the moment, because, like... People are indifferent. That's... fine, I guess. We're getting food. Desirability. Really? What's wrong with the desirability? How much would it be to, to put gardens in all of these areas here? That would be too... Yeah, let's just do that. For the moment. Is that too far? I don't think that's too far. Huh? Let me, let me check. Nope, nope, that's good. Okay, I'm okay. People are pleased. That's nice. This intersection here is kind of a bit of a frustration and I think it might impact the water carrier. Hmm. That's not going to be enough to upgrade it, is it? Nah. Probably have to do quite a bit. Although, once the pavilion is down, that's quite a bit of beautification, which should help. Let me see here. Considering starting these off quick. This is going to require one of these. Hmm. What's our population looking like right now? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, um, hang on a second. Let's 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 start doing all of the all of the things. Um we've gotten some temples. What do we need next? <sighs> We're gonna need pottery. Going to need to start You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna we're gonna start setting up the wood cutting. I might actually do it mirrored on either side more or less mirrored. I don't want to do too much of this, but the control... what? What happened? What did I click? Oh, you right click over here, it... that was... that was... that was weird. Is this twenty eight? So sixteen. Uh, is that is that it? Yeah. Oops. 
And I think we turn it here. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna just get rid of this for now. Actually, what we might do is go this way, this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. Perhaps. Uh, wood. Um, I think we use some of our starting money to set up trade with, is it Bidet that we want? You've got, you've got clay, you have gear, but I don't want gear, I would rather have barley. But you don't have clay. And you buy wood, you? Yes. They both buy wood. So potentially we could, oh, you buy game meat as well. They both sell fish, which is a good source of additional food. Reeds. Oh. But that sells reeds. We didn't have reeds set up when we were when when we were doing that, did we? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I think I think we do set up with Bedette and start selling the wood. So that's gonna be the least expensive and we 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 definitely we're gonna need the clay. Who can we sell? Oh, you can you can buy you buy papyrus. So we can potentially what we can do is export the wood, import the reeds, turn it into papyrus, sell it to Abedju, buy barley. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Yes. And start exporting it immediately um this is what i wanted prices oh wow that's pretty good look at the difference between the luxury goods it's that's that's significant okay so reeds reeds are quite cheap and they turn it turn a significant profit 31 to 165. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be good. Uh, you know what? I might actually just immediately start importing. Nah, we don't have the money yet. Not yet. We're going to get that start started setting up as soon as we can. I am off for a hard day's logging. I am off for a hard day's logging. I am off for a hard day's logging. Is that all they say? I am off for a hard day's logging. Yes, so. Okay. Well, whatever. Maybe they say something when they're coming back. Logging. Yeah, I that this is gonna be good, but I don't wanna overdo it. So I think we start looking into setting up Read imports. Oh, I was I was doing the stuff for here, wasn't I? And then I stopped. Um, this is also expensive, and we're not gonna be using much of it yet. Gonna want to put this down. I did want to incorporate it into this whole thingy, but this is an even number. And and the the temple complex is is odd, right? So um, oh, is this? Oh, this is odd. Ooh, maybe maybe someday in the future we could put this here or something. I don't know. What do you need? Food? Yeah, supply of food. She's able to go through, so... 500 residents already! Goodness gracious. Okay, that's impressive. 
Um, I had a thought, and then I lost it. Must not have been that important, then. Oh, traitors already. Goodness. Okay. Um, I'll be a hero when I bring these goods back to my homeland. Okay. Hmm. This city is suitable enough for me. Legions of unemployed. It's dull. You know, that's something we could do. Get get the pavilion set up. So expensive, though. I don't think we can afford that. We need more woodcutters. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna put it there just for symmetry's sake. We can put something else there, or maybe another one. I, I again, I don't want to overdo it, but we do need to also sell stuff to to be able to like function and stuff. So yeah, uh, I think we're gonna get it set up on the other side as well. Let's see, one, two, three. Nope, I miscalculated. Dang it, why? How? Let me see. It says 28. Twenty-eight. What? How? Did I wait a minute? Oh, this is this is Oh, one off from the road. So it would be there and then two and then three and then four. Okay, okay, never mind. Never mind. Don't panic, anybody. It's fine. I, I calculated correctly. Somehow, miraculously. Is that gonna fit? No. Yeah. I'm... I'm getting way too fiddly about trying to make it symmetrical. Let's just... let's just... put that there. And I think we might actually... Oh, the trader's gonna go all the way... Oh, they don't actually have a connection, do they? They have to use the roads, don't they? Do they? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to put the woodcutters here, where they are, where the... Hunting lodges are down here. And they are... It looks like we are exploiting both herds of... Or, uh, flocks, I guess. They're ostriches. Hmm. Yeah, that that first wave of traders couldn't couldn't get down here, could they? I've been kicked out of my home and through no fault of my own. Seem to be struggling for food. I'm going to try and jump start. Yeah. That bizarre. that to make it look fancy and then some gardens 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 there and I'm gonna put another statue right at the end there that's a that's a that's the wrong thing hmm There's, there's this cat statue. Hey, you know what? I'm putting the cat statue. Now, double check that the, the pavilion still fits. Yes. Yes. Excellent. They didn't upgrade these. Let's put some plazas out front.
Once we put down the pavilions, they, um, yes, pavilions, they almost certainly, well, they did anyway, so it's fine. That should help bump up food distribution, although, I think we might need to import fish. We don't have a steady, steady income just yet so we're gonna just hold off for a little bit until we are actually import or exporting enough wood oh speaking of wood i didn't do this except wood don't want them going clear across the city this timber will be put to good use i am sure hmm this might be overdoing it with the woodcutters, I'm not sure. But, tell you what, I think that's actually probably a good spot to leave it. Um, we've, we've gotten the city started, and it's, it's, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. So, I guess there's that. We've got I, I think I think the main thing is we've got a decent plan for for moving forward to make this look kind of kind of actually really nice at least in this area um, I'm not sure how we're gonna handle the rest of this area but yeah, this area at least is gonna be nice I hope uh, next episode I think one of our primary goals is going to be to start up recruiting because I do think we need to get some forts, at least one that's fully, fully uh, staffed, stocked, has fully people in it. I don't know how you say that, but... Yeah, that basically, I think that's one of the first things we're going to start. We're, we're going to use the, the money we're spending. We're, I'm struggling to speak for some reason. I think that that is what we're going to spend the money that we've gotten from selling the wood first. Next episode. Oh, by the way, I can't remember. Did I try to rotate these? I uh, don't know if I tried, but it doesn't let you. Okay. So yeah, that is going to be one of the primary uses for the first bit of income we get from the wood, I think. And then we'll start... Oh, entertainment is next. That's going to be an expense, but... Yeah. I mean, I suppose we don't... Oops. We don't really need to do that right now because of this. So maybe we just hold off on entertainment until we've gotten a little bit more well established. I think I'm I might be rushing things just a smidgen here. So maybe we just kind of slow down a little bit. But yeah, I think that is going to do it for this episode. So I will say, oh, thank you for watching, take care, and farewell. Ostriches are nearly invisible when they put their heads in the sand. Now those are some big drumsticks. <laughs>